myself, I left corporate world back in 2010 when I discovered I was dyslexic at 44. So what do you do when you just, what would you do if you was, found out you were dyslexic at 44? Well, you'd probably do what I did. I quit my job, started a business, and I went to university. And I graduated in 2012 with a master's degree in global entrepreneurship. I went to Bridgestone Tires to do a, a, a project, and the guy said to me, Kirk, what if you, uh, have you come from Pirelli? And he starts to ream off all these tire companies. And I says, no. He said, well, what do you know about tires? I said, the black and round. What more do I need to know about tires? I said, this is the supply chain. So stuff comes in through that door there, yeah. It's got an SKU, which is a stock keeping unit. Goes into a location, someone orders it, we get it out and send it to them. Send it to someone out, yeah. So we can apply it to anything, Coca-Cola, tires, computers, anything. And I believe uh, I owe a lot of it to being dyslexic because I'm always, I look at things differently and if you, look at what dyslexics do, we look at the, di the world in a different place, totally different, a very holistic view of the world and very creative. Um, very childlike in some respects, we're not afraid of asking questions or making mistakes, we just want to know what's going on. So these four steps that I've developed, and I use these, in, and I'll talk about a business that I used it on, a gap, so what's the gap? Boulders, and I've got a Mancunian accent, that's a big rock, <coughs> I'll explain, uh, I'll translate it for you. Innovation and owning it. So the gap, so you need to know currently where you are and where you're going. So as an example, if we're going from here today to say Scotland, what's the gap? What, what, what is it, what, what, you know, how long is it going to take us? Have we got enough fuel in the car? What is the gap? Yeah, we know where we're going, that's your business plan. We've got Scotland, but what is the gap? What do we need? So process maps where the problem was. And if you process map your business, keep it simple to how does someone order a product? How do you fulfill that product? How do you deliver it? And how do you get the money back from, from your customer? How do you invoice? Keep it very simple. So boulder, and I like to use that because if there was a stream in front of us now and I dropped a massive boulder in it, the water would stop. And that's your business, and that's your information, your business stream. Stops flow of information, stops ideas. And everything backs up. Eventually it'll find its way around, but stuff will get stuck behind it. And they could be all the great ideas. So we need to remove the boulders. Every business I've ever worked with or been in, there's a boulder in the business. It's either a department or an individual. They were comfortable in their little area, quite happy doing what they're doing, don't want to change. The next thing, once we, now we've got rid of the boulder, is we go to the most exciting part of it that I really love doing, which is the innovation side. So what I did in this business, and I've done in every other business, I selected people from the business, not the managers, not the leaders, but there were some of them in there, but the guys that were doing the machinery, the guys that were working on the shop floor, doing the deliveries or whatever, get them into a room, because guess what? They can make and break whatever you decide to do. The last bit is owning it. So when you've done all this wonderful work that you've done and where you're going, it's like everything. If you go and read a book or you, you want to learn something and you don't apply it, you've actually wasted all your time. So if you've got problems and you do nothing about those problems, then they're just going to reoccur again. So your four steps is gap, boulders, big rock, yeah, innovate and owning it. And I go by the name of the International Dyslexic Superhero. My name's Kurt Pickstone, and thanks for listening to this morning. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask me. Thank you.